gentlemen. This is Tim and Christina Dell for Living With Them in Tenerife. We're here in Alcala. We're filming with the iPhone on the little stand there. Um, I'm filming at the back here with my GoPro. And we've got one microphone today. And Hi. it feels so good to be out in the about for a change. It does, it does. I don't know whether this microphone's picking her up, but I'll do it that way. Say it again. No, I think it's fine. I'll put subtitles if you can hear. <laughs> so, oh, my bloody microphone's falling down, falling down. I shall hold it. There you go. My chair turned off. Your chair's turned off, yeah. But I'm turned on. <laughs> uh -huh. So here we are. I will show you around in a minute. We've just done a little um, time lapse. From the Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Christina Lee Airways. Please fasten your seatbelts and stow all your baggage. We'll be travelling at a speed of about six miles per hour and at an altitude of around six. Vamos. We came past the Gran Melia Palace Zora, where it's called, which is a great big, um, a great big hotel here in Alcala. And Alcala is like split into a few different types. There's this maritime passage or maritime walkway um, with lots of little black beaches and natural rock pools. And then you've got like the old town a bit further down with the port and a little square. And we might be able to show you that on the way back. I'm going to try and stick the GoPro to the top of the car on the way back. See if we can get some footage that way.
something flying through the air, that's the GoPro. <laughs> oh, my head. Oh, Christina's hat. Um, bit of a Kalima today, that means it's sort of hazy, but very warm. It's about 28 degrees, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but there's a, live, a lovely breeze coming in off the, off the sea. But oh, you can't yeah. see Lagomera at all. You see a little bit of an outline over there, but uh, that's about it. But the sound of the sea is very good. It is beautiful. So I'll just take you on a quick walk around to the sound of the sea. Here we go. So here we got the black black sand on the right of us. You see in the distance another rock pool there, and here's a sort of a, a nice beach. Black sand everywhere. Christina's following me. I thought she might have stayed and watched the bag, but there you go. Should I stay or should I go? Well, do, do it this way. She's going to trap her hand again, but there you go. That's what you get for not learning. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly got her. I nearly got her. So anyway, um, we're going to go a bit further down, so some rock pools down the bottom. Gentlemen, this is Tim Dow for Living With MS in Tenerife. It's a little bit of a windy day here in Alcala, and I'm here with Christina. We're at the end of the maritime walkway here in Alcala, on the uh, north side of the, of the town. And this does go a little bit further, so you can actually go over here all the way up to the next village and along the coast. Uh, a lot of people do that. Well, this is the one of the natural pools we have, and I don't know if you can see these, but uh, there's a big headland here, and when the tide's in, the waves crash over and fill this pool up. <laughs> there's the seagulls I'm going to go. And basically, there's a uh, steps down here. And what the steps do is you can go down and swim and get out, so it's quite safe. And uh, I'm here with Christina today. Here she is. You all right? Yeah. Is it your favourite spot? Yeah. It's our favourite spot. So, as you probably see in the background over there, we've got Los Gigantes. And what's, uh, I don't know if you can see, it's pretty hazy. And the reason it's hazy, because we've got a bit of a Kalima going on. And the Kalima is, uh, it came from the south earlier on. It's a little bit too warm. We've got people going over the, over the dunes there. Well, they're not dunes, because they're lava, aren't they? Lava, 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 lava. And we'll talk to you soon. So, here's Christina again. Oh, wow. Ah. It's moving to me. Uh huh. Are we still recording here? I think we might still be recording there. 28, 29, we're still recording there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I've just noticed. What? It says no fishing. Uh, and everybody's fishing. There's nobody fishing behind us, is there? 
So these pools are quite, quite nice to swim in, but it's not a lot of water in them at the moment. I love the way this follows me. I like the way this follows me. Uh. Yeah. I could do like sort of, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in Alcala. Alcala with all the swimming pools. <laughs> Look at the cliffs, which are called the giants, or as they say in Spain, los gigantes. Thank you very much, and goodbye. <laughs> what, what? You still following me? That's amazing. It's amazing that it's following me all the time. It's amazing that it's following me all the time. It's amazing. Can you see it? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Are they following each other? Is that thing following me? I don't think so. But this thing might be following me. There you go. I love this technology. I love this technology. So I'm going to turn it off now. We've done a couple of trips here, and if you go back on YouTube and have a look, uh, you'll probably see them. Uh, I, might, I might link them in the bottom if I can find them. But uh, we did a thing with uh, Lee, the Mac Master, today, where he interviewed me again, and uh, I read a load of stuff out that I found online. And he thinks I'm the bee's knees, which I am. So if you're coming from Lee's channel, thank you very much for joining in. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that little bell for notifications for when I upload a new video. Typically, I do two a week. Uh, Sunday night is a, like a podcast, which is like a radio station that you can listen to on the way to work or in the car or just on your phone. And there's no video on it. But what I do do is I publish it to YouTube as well. So, and put some pictures up of the people and maybe the things they're talking about, stuff like that. So it's quite interesting. You watch that on YouTube or you can podcast it in your ears on the way to work. Uh, usually between, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, uh, not longer. And I usually have somebody uh, as an interview, a main interview guest. And at the beginning, I do an update on COVID. I do an update on the weather and a bit of a chit chat from me. So uh, I might even bring, uh, you, do you want to be on it, the podcast? So, same shit, different day? Yeah. Okay, um, I'll put, I'll, we'll have a little section for Christina for us to tell you what she did that week and uh, what was important and what wasn't important, maybe. I don't know. I know she likes the food and stuff. I might start putting the food up as well, eh? I mm. know, oh, because if it's a podcast, it won't be any good. I'm just describing what I've had. <laughs> Then on a Tuesday we're gonna we like to do something like this going out for the, going out for the day and post this on a Tuesday. But what I'm hoping to do is to uh, do a few things during the week and then post a sort of a a conglomerate video on the Tuesday of different places where we went to. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. On the podcast, obviously, when we open for business again and the uh, the uh, tourists are here, then what I'm going to do is sit uh, at a bar along the beach, one of the tourist areas, and see if I can find someone to come and say hello. So I'll have my big fluffy microphone and my earphones on, so I look like a radio broadcaster, and then I'll interview the, the holiday makers. And then I'll do that Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then on Sunday I'll put it all together with uh, one person I've interviewed for a long time, mm. a local person maybe, yeah, or a business person, or a hotelier, a bar owner, restaurateur, Depends, or just somebody who's interesting. Their story. And if you want to tell your story, then let me know. What do you want to say, darling? At the moment, it's so quiet, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's really, really quiet. I mean, you go down to Los Cristianos and Las Americas, and there's hardly anybody there. Because the locals, they come to places like this, so... I mean, there are people down there, but uh, it's not like it was. It's not like it was. Anyway, let's not finish on a Dobby Downer. Yeah? So let's go and, uh, oh, I can't say let's go, can I? No, because that's what MacMaster says. I'm not allowed to say let's go. I'm not allowed to say let's go. Let's drive. Let's, let's drive. No, what we're going to say is vamanos. Vamanos. <laughs> vamanos. Vamanos.